Now the journey here has been fantastic to DMG Moray Front and we got, we've been through snowstorms and everything but Paul, when you talk about machines in this vast open house, you've got 40 machine tools, I know we keep on banging on about that, but this DMF Travelling Column Machining Centre, you don't, I don't see a lot of these around, I don't know much about them, but tell us why you would buy this and what application. I picked this one out, it stands out for me, because I see quite a lot of Travelling Column requirement in the market. Now, why, why would you want a machine like this? Well, it's a, a Travelling Column machine, essentially your x-axis is moving on the column at the back which means your table or your bed is fixed. Now by having a fixed uh, a fixed base, a fixed table means that you can put heavier parts on the table for a start because the table is not moving left to right as an axis, it's in a fixed position and you're relying on the head for your movement or the column for your movement. So some would say that's advantageous to be able to, to have that fixed bed on the machine. The beauty of a travelling column machine like this as well is working envelope. I mean, here you've got you know a two metre table or beyond that probably with with about that in the x-axis, and you've also got over 600, which is normally what people look for in the Y. In fact, 700 on this machine. You've also got the flexibility of having this rather quick, as you'll see it moving uh, five-axis head. So you're able to do you know very very diverse applications and like you've got in here uh, with that integrated c-axis as well it means you can do full five axis machining now the part that's uh, behind you here I, I mean i was quite intrigued about this it, i know it's a demo part but it's, it's very sort of space or aerospace looking there's a lot of different applications in that part isn't there now i understand that took around about seven hours to actually machine which the demo is actually here working as we can actually see but i mean I, you know i'm not an engineer but how do you get round sort of the swarf if you're leaving the component there for so long? Well, I think with, with, with a part like this, you have to look at the fact that there is a lot of stock removal, but you have facilities on this machine's air blast through spindle cool and all of those things that will take care of any of those uh, considerations. Look at the way the head's tipping at the moment to get to very awkward angles, uh, but it's not only just getting to those awkward angles, it's actually kind of contouring at the same time. So it's interpolating to open up holes and diameters. Uh, all of this type of machining is just it, it's just incredible incredible for me to see this sort of technology in action and, and where would you sort of put this type of machine what sort of application what the, the companies are actually machining complex parts one-offs where, where does it actually sit uh, i think the beauty of this is because you've got that bigger working envelope you could load the table up with components at one end and then also uh, put parts up the other end of the table so you're you're essentially uh, you know, using all of your working envelope to maximise productivity. At the same time, you can have a very large bolster, which could take up the whole of the working envelope of the table. So very, very diverse is the answer. Um, you know, you, you, could do five, you could do five sides of a part uh, using the, the, the table here, and then you could do your finishing operation to the left of the table. So it's a very, very ergonomic, easy to access, controlled by uh, the DMG Mori control that we know, the Hayden Hain there, uh, you know, it is really something else, this machine. I think this could be quite popular worldwide for the right application then. Yeah, DMF, fantastic machine, especially this 180 on show here in front of